If there is no concrete evidence of people from outer space, how do you write a whole book about UFOs? Well, that's exactly why I called it the UFO experience instead of something that would have sold more like sex in the UFO. <laughs> uh, I called it the UFO experience because that's what I was talking about, the experience that people had. And you can't convince a person who's had a real UFO experience that he hasn't had it. In the early 70s, J. Allen Hynek came out with his monumental book called The UFO Experience. It wasn't just about research. He was somebody that would listen and took people seriously who had, had sightings and had experiences. He would go on lots of TV shows and radio interviews, and he was a public figure advocating for official recognition and study of UFOs. With the space program taking off, there was a groundswell of interest in outer space. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a national movement. And so people's imaginations, of course, run wild. Hollywood was able to capture that and feed people's thirst and imagination. And it led to a long-standing, powerful genre. May the force be with you. So UFOs became a cultural, creative, imaginative area. And Hynek's book was a big hit. Dr. J. Allen Hynek. Steven Spielberg bought the rights to Hynek's book and hired Dr. Hynek as a technical consultant. And so Spielberg worked with Hynek in helping to get the facts accurate for his movie, Close Encounters. Yeah, I was very influenced by J. Allen Hynek because he was not looking at UFOs as science fiction, but he was looking at them as science speculation. So I met with him and I used him and I picked his brain and, and he consulted with me. Dr. Hynek was the fellow that coined the term close encounters. Well, the close encounter of the first kind is one is close, but nothing really happened. Close encounter of the second kind includes physical damage to the environment. That could be landing pad imprints in the grass where a UFO was said to have landed. And the close encounters of the third kind are the most interesting of all. Close encounter of the third kind is really when you meet them. It was clear that Spielberg wanted real science, real data, accurate information about UFOs, and that's why he called on J. Allen Hynek. They were drawing from real U.S. government information on how these things operated and maneuvered. Hypersonic velocities or fast speeds, instantaneous acceleration, even biological effects, where Richard Dreyfuss, half his face has his sunburn. Those were all observables that we were seeing in the US government, real observables that made their way onto the Hollywood screen. And that's because Steven Spielberg was provided information from people from Project Blue Book. Along with Hynek, Spielberg also talked to Jacques Vallée, a French scientist who was well known in the UFO field and had written numerous books on the topic. I had the privilege of working with Dr. Hynek for five years. We built the first computer-based data catalog of UFO sightings, starting with the Air Force files, which covered about 20,000 cases. These people have come from all over their country. The French scientist in the movie, character of Lacombe, was based loosely on, on, on me. France has an official scientific committee for UFOs that includes physicists, the military, including sociologists and psychologists. By letting the project team leader be a Frenchman, it, it, it immediately gave more of a depth to the understanding of UFOs. In the whole history of the America, the movies, it's always they come from somewhere, they kill somebody, so we bring the tanks, and they destroy all the tanks. That's a very American way of looking at an alien life form. If everything's ready here on the dark side of the moon, play the pipe tones. The movie was the first movie in which we were greeting these aliens, and they were coming to us 
as, as equal, and we were going to have an intelligent discussion with them, or intelligent exchange. Close Encounters, we just captured the spirit of the mystery of the phenomenon, the scariness of the phenomenon, and kind of the impact that it has on people. Whatever the government may think about them, unidentified flying objects seem to be popular with the people. Columbia Pictures reports that its film, Close Encounters of a Third Kind, has grossed $39 million in three weeks. I owe a lot to J. Allen Hynek. His instilling in me a professional's point of view on this kind of field reporting. And he helped me make the movie more credible than it would have been without his, his existence. Steven Spielberg actually brought him on set for when they filmed the movie's huge climax at the secret UFO base in Wyoming. Captain. United States Navy, 043-431. Captain. And of course, Close Encounters became a household term because of Steven Spielberg's movie and really catapulted Hynek to a degree of celebrity. Therefore will the real Dr. J. Allen Hynek please stand up. 